But two minutes after three o'clock, it's the uh, tea time edition of the uh, political guest because we have a special guest on today. And uh, right, I've just been live about less than an hour and a half ago, and I'm back live again. Um, so if you got your notifications, log on, and we'll have a conversation for about maybe half an hour. See where that takes us. Uh, always thank for some aloe vera. But it will look good. Um, yeah. Not, my hands are not soft enough already. But I tried the aloe vera. Make yourself look beautiful, man. Look at my complexion. Getting any better? I don't know. How's that? Right. Roll up, roll up. 3 o'clock. It's the uh, tea time edition. Uh, sometimes we go live at 3 o'clock just to uh, introduce our special guest. And we are doing the political desk. So, um, Louis Pelay, how are you, Louis? Um, catching some of you off guard um, on this uh, tea time. But, right, let's get in. I'll give you some time to uh, log on. We are with uh, Forum for Service Delivery. That's the... Um, uh, political party that we're going to feature today. Coming up tonight at 8 o'clock is Narendra Ganesh. He's the independent candidate uh, standing in Ward 34. I think I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, we're going to speak to Narendra Ganesh. Narendra Ganesh, uh, you might know him from um, his famous letter writing, quite the uh, astute uh, guy there. Uh, taking Julius Malema to the quality court as well as uh, under his belt. Uh, Ashna, Ramal, Lionel, James, how's it again? Yeah, how's it again? That's right, I'm back live. Um, can hardly get to see my wife in between all of this. Welcome, welcome, welcome online. Right, let's um, just kill that there. And uh, so, good afternoon. As you can ask, can you hear me well enough? Just say hello if you're watching, wherever you're watching from. A uh, very quick live feed we'll do today. Uh, we're trying to get 30 minutes done. Kashni Salai says, hi, hello, hello, hello. Uh, Lionel James is on. And yeah, so I needed a form. I had a busy schedule this week. Needed a form an opportunity for um, this uh, <clears throat> party who, who asked for some exposure. Forum for service delivery. Uh, <coughs> we're going to feature now. <coughs> we have... Um, uh, Mervyn Governor online is going to come online just now. So um, very quickly tonight, uh, Narendra Ganesh. Tomorrow, eight o'clock, uh, Nicole Graham from the DA, and Wednesday, um, hopefully someone from the EFF. I'm not sure who it is. And uh, Thursday we feature Shando Teron, attorney Shando Teron. He's going to talk to you about father's rights. He's a uh, expert in uh, matrimonial divorce matters, child custody, and it'll be great to have him on. Um, really, really a brain there. He knows um, what he's talking about. So we'll educate quite a few people <coughs> on that matter. Right. Um, let's see if we can go on. Creel Raman says, how's it, Mother? Hello, Kabashni Naika. How's it again, Casey? Ash is on again. Ash, not in the shower now, eh? You're out of the shower. Uh, Tata Logi, when Nina... Right, let's bring our guest on quickly. There we go. And just like that, one right. thing, we are on and we are live. And uh, I always feel like I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm away from the camera. People big on the camera. I look small. Right, we are on with a well, one welcome to. We didn't do a test run, but I think we've got sound. Um, so just say hello so I can hear that you got sound. Uh, how's it, Casey? Right, welcome. So there we go. We have sound. We are live with uh, Mervyn Governor who is a forum for service delivery. Welcome to the platform, Mervyn. Thank you. Thank you, Casey. Right. So um, to be honest with you, I hadn't heard of forum for, for service delivery. That's why when you contacted me, I said, OK, I didn't even know you were, you were a political party uh, at that as such. But um, yeah, so first of all, what's your position at forum for service delivery? Uh, I am the Kwazulu Natal leader and also the Tekweni uh, uh, municipality regional leadership. So, uh, regional leadership. Uh, yeah. So democratically elected, we had a elective conference, and uh, unanimously the guys said I should lead and be a captain of the ship. 
Right. So, uh, and, you know. so this party is existing for how long? Uh, from 2016, Casey. Uh, but yeah. uh, more especially in the Gauteng, the Northwest and the um, uh, Limpopo areas. Uh, we had actually uh, been together with uh, Forum for Service Delivery with other projects in those areas um, in terms of the Poor People's Foundation in the Rustenburg areas, etc. So, and um, well, forgive me for not. No, so I'm not out of touch, not yeah. knowing about Forum for Service Delivery because no, no, no. <laughs> we didn't really have a presence in KZN. If not in yeah, we did it. We did it. In fact, uh, I was looking for a political home because uh, <coughs> my uh, young uh, activity, you know, as being a youngster, as being a student, I was involved in politics in terms of a student activist. Where at that time we didn't burn the buildings, we went on hunger strikes in yeah. uh, UDW from 96 to 98, where I did my BA, uh, Human Movement Science, and then obviously moved on to the, the Department of Correctional Services. And uh, in 2010, I started the nonprofit organization called Phoenix Tenants and Residents Association because of non-service delivery from the local councillors and also uh, government as a whole. I mean, we exposed one of the biggest uh, Housing scams in the country. Uh, it goes into the building. Okay, so let me just let me just start with uh, yeah. you said you said you were looking for a political home. So before that, yes. where, where was your before this? What what and where was your political home? Okay, it was the African National Congress, and at that time the UDF. We were kids. I mean, we grew up in Tongat. I matriculated in Bucklesdale High, and one of my mentors was uh, Don Nido, and he was a guy that was very close to the brother of Logie. And these were activists that, you know, at that time, <laughs> some of the guys were being hunted by the security branch. So uh, that exposure actually gave us the inroad into what politics is all about. And when we got to university, it just became more uh, intense in terms of the country situation, us as minorities. Yeah, obviously, if you, had, if, you had, if, you had, yeah. if you had UDW, if you had UDW, you got yeah. no other choice but to be conscientized and become yes. politically aware. <laughs> Yeah, they were very good leaders there at that time. I mean, some of the guys went on to hold huge portfolios in government. Uh, some of the guys we're still in contact with. And uh, yeah, it's just that we were <laughs> spectators most of this time. You know, we thought the constitution would work, governance would work at local government and national. The policies of the ANC would work. And then you find out the gear, the national development plan and the... Um, uh, well, what was it? RDP has failed our people dismally. And thereafter, we said, you know, we're tired of this now. It's uh, You can't be a spectator and, and not get actively involved. And then uh, it's like corruption has, <laughs> has been at the forefront of every single event that we've sh taken on. Once we started working with the NPO, I've been involved in a lot of court cases against the city and uh, against human settlement, against uh, the national human settlement. The social housing regulator. So it's like you know you you try and so uh, the, to, the policies are there, but you, not, you've yeah. lost you've lost faith in the in the liberation movement. The ANC can't govern our yeah. country anymore. Yeah, they were the greatest liberators, but not they're hopeless in administration, and that must be. I mean, that must come to. Well, the they're sticking with yeah. the they're sticking with the L team. The, the great liberators now, the great looters. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe they're, maybe they're stuck. Because absolutely, yeah. So, yeah. Three, three trillion, three trillion rand is a lot of money. And uh, in fact, when I entered the the university space, I mean, we had exposure to uh, Zapo, uh, the the Black Consciousness Movement. We had exposure to uh, the PAC, uh, Tripola Watu, and at that time, you know, it was like we learned so much in in politics, and it it was like a a firebrand of leaders that we had. And if you compare to them now, when I see buildings burn up, institutions burn up, and I think, hey, what the hell is going on? Because these are learning institutions and money has been spent. And, you know, I used to work as a as a waiter to fund my university studies. And it was difficult times. So, I mean, when you see these things happen, it's really, really sad. Right. So what... Who's the leader of uh, Forum for Service Delivery? It's uh, it's Mbarek Kakana. He's from the Mpumalanga area. And uh, we also were together for a short while at Hakang SA. Uh, and uh, thereafter, he started his own political party. He started off from absolutely nothing. He's, he was a security guard. And then currently, he's holding a PhD 
in in political science. So that is what attracted me to the brand, to the manifesto, to the policy. And it's a pro-poor party. So it's something that you do all the time. I mean, you're always involved in the poor communities. And we are coming from those communities. So it's like we cannot ignore them. And you have 17 million people that are unemployed in this country. You cannot ignore that poverty exists, that there's a huge inequality between the rich and the poor. And uh, unless that is not balanced in this country, you're going to always see the upcoming, you know, you saw the fertile ground for the unrest and also other political uh, agendas that were driven in this entire thing. So uh, we, I, I want to spend the rest of my life just fighting injustices, social Social, uh, social injustice against. So can I can I ask you a question? Yeah. Even even if you came out of the ANC, don't yeah. you think that sometimes if you have if you want to be and some guys are speaking highly of you, if you yeah. want to make change, yeah, shouldn't you be inside the main organization or the main car or the main thing? Do you not feel now with a party that's relatively unknown that as much as you may have a lot of knowledge? that if you get nowhere in this election, I'm just not saying, I'm just saying, let's use a hypothetical. Yeah. You yeah. don't win a seat, you don't win a councillor. <clears throat> then your your efforts, your knowledge, your power, your wisdom is in vain because you, you, have a, you don't have a vehicle. You need a vehicle to drive yeah. change. So why, when, why go for a party that, uh, I'm saying honestly now, is Hardly yeah. ever know. I don't know about it. If I don't know about yeah. it, another 10,000 people don't know about it. It makes your job yeah. even harder to do yeah. that. Why, why would you choose the hard road? I've always chose the underdog. I've always chose. It's like backing a 100 to 1 horse in the July handicap. You're going to get more value for it. And the the issue of, of the, the ANC is a broken vehicle. You can never drive the public policy and, and socioeconomic justice in this country. Three trillion rand later, twenty-seven years later, it, it can never it can never do that. And at some point, we we had to look. Well, I had to do an introspect and say, you know, in fact, this was a long time ago. In there's so many other I, so many other yeah. parties available in case they didn't more well known. If okay, you want to put it that okay. Way. The official the official uh, opposition in the country had offered me uh, something, but I, I I went there. I attended the. The interview, I was shortlisted as a candidate councillor, and then I left. I never went and pursued it because that opposition party is equally as corrupt with nepotism as the democratic, uh, uh, sorry, as as the uh, as the ruling party. So uh, it's 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 a it's it's a pit of snakes there. And uh, in order for one to really, I mean, this is a civic political party, and you have to have something where there's less politics. And more delivery. I mean, I'm a guy that can knock on the doors, and and that's what I like doing, working with people on the ground. Uh, you know, getting involved in projects. Although we let don't. Me, let me, uh, let me yeah. backtrack. I don't like talking bad about other parties or whatever, but uh, yeah. and, and try not to. Maybe the party much. But yeah. when you were when you were within the DA for a how long, yeah. what did you see that you didn't like? What 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 was it? I okay, hear the story basically, the uh, basically, when I when I started the uh, the. Uh, the Phoenix Tenants and Residents Association, we had had challenges with, with basically legal funding. And uh, we approached quite a few political parties. And uh, we were asked to have a meeting with the DA. And then the DA uh, promised us that, you know what, they would see how they would sort us out in terms of uh, funding, because this was land grabbing on a massive scale in the Phoenix area, which, which we had to challenge. And uh, I mean, I ended up doing my uh, uh, bachelor of uh, uh, bachelor of laws because you can't rely on, on on handouts. You can't rely on these political parties. The DA had more interest in changing, uh, in in uh, in opposing the name change in in the city. I mean, uh, Casey, you don't know this, but or maybe you do. But uh, for every seat that you get in uh, um, in the provincial legislature and the national legislature you get almost a 2 million rand funding per seat. Now, the Indian community has always uh, voted in favor of the DA in, in all the major areas, but uh, we don't see projects that that, that, uh, that are run in these areas. The other issue is the so, issue so, of so, land grabbing. So just, 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 just backtrack, sorry, I'm going to interject every now and then. It, Educate it was us. a that's short I, stint. Yeah. yeah, that's why I have these uh, forums. Yeah. So, so talk to me about the yeah. seats and the 2 million rand. What is that? 
Okay, okay, you get you get parliamentary funds, and then you get uh, and then you get constituency funds. For example, if uh, you have uh, just say that area of Phoenix that had, for example, fifty thousand votes, and you need one seat in parliament, and that would now get a constituency seat, and with the constitu constituency seat, that will obviously service the broader uh, Phoenix area, and then after that, you would get. IEC funds, that's to uphold your office, run projects, and ensure, you know what, you. I heard in Phoenix there's a so-called war room, a uh, poverty war room, where people try and, and ensure that uh, poverty is, is, is alleviated. But I go into Phoenix on a daily basis. I interact with the people. It's just a smokescreen. I mean, if you're getting 2 million rand, and if you're sitting with 200 and something seats in, in, in parliament, I mean, that's over 400, 500 million rand worth of funding per annum. And if you multiply that by a five-year term, it goes into the, the billions. And I'm talking about... Uh, so so what, what, that what are these funds can't pay for? the salaries. They're to run your for? office. Yeah, they're yeah. to run your office, run your projects, run your, um, what can I say, your day-to-day -day expenses, the salaries of the staff. And you've seen the ruling party, they could not even feel the candidates yet they get this funding. So it's it's a challenge to really convince voters that you know what, it's not about the brand. I mean, it's about the, the leader and also the quality wait, wait, of the just, leader. Just, 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 just let yeah. me do one. Let's go back. <laughs> so the ANC yeah. who's got the most number of seats everywhere, yeah. got the two yeah. million rand payout and still can't run the offices and pay the staff. They get two million rand per seat, and I think they got two hundred plus seats in the in the uh, par in parliament, in national parliament, and that's excluding the nine provinces where they'll also get funding. So you can you can go and research what I'm saying because I used to also be on on a, on a national office bear as a national office bearer, the general secretary for Akhang SA. So uh, and uh, and and the DA thing with the Akhang SA had killed Akhang SA. Because, and then also, guys were fought, fighting, sorry, fighting for constituency you almost said funds. Farting, you almost said farting. You farting. Almost said it. You almost said, well, well, fighting well, for well, constituency funds. Well, if you're funds. a white guy, well, if you're a white guy, you're involved in a fart. It's a big fart. You're all farting everywhere. Yeah. You fart with me, yeah, I fart with you, I fart with my neighbor. I, I'm surprised you guys don't know that these guys get constituency and IC funds. And parliamentary funds. I, I'll be honest with you, as intelligent as I look and as smart as I look, I have no clue about this two million rand. I just look gorgeous they on my platform. You're educating me today yeah. about two million rand funding yeah. and all of that. Even when yeah. Guzman really came on, he never told us about the two million rand. Well, Kami <laughs> Kapoor came on, didn't tell us about the two million rand. I don't know. Yeah, by the way, it. how much how much does and how much does an MP, let's say like Shamin Takur, she's sitting in the case okay. legislature? How much does someone okay. like that earn? Okay, KZN legislature is probably around, I would say in between 90 to 100. I don't know whether they took the increment or not, but it's 90 to 100 plus you get your free flights to, to wherever you need to go. 90 to 100,000 then. Correct, correct. For a month. And then I think, yes, a month. <laughs> and some what? of the guys barely have, barely have metric. Some of the guys have already reached their sell by date. they over 65 in parliament. You see what goes on in parliament. I I'm, dude, I'm, I'm now you've now made me 2014. <laughs> I need to get a place somewhere, dude. I can't be wasting my time doing this shit yeah, yeah day yeah. after day. No, Somebody told can't. me Shamin is around 50 you to 60 thousand. 50 to 60 thousand. You're not telling me nine, maybe nine, after checks. Maybe maybe after, after checks. Okay. And apart from that, you get a pension, you get a medical aid, you get your uh what can I say, your flights. Uh, if there's if there's uh, parliamentary citizens in Cape Town, you can fly. I know as a national uh, MP, you get unlimited flights. You can, uh, and I mean, Levin, uh, let yeah. me cut you short there. Yeah, I had a different plan for you today. What plan did you have? <laughs> I had a different plan for you. I always thought you would join me in forum. Before, before we go you. further, before we go further, yeah. I yeah. I I'll be honest with you and tell you I had a I came not that. I had a different opinion of not, a, not an opinion. Something was placed <laughs> in my head, right? Yeah. Because of something I saw. So a I'm reservation. gonna address it to you first. I'm not gonna wait for later, yeah. I'm gonna address it to you first. <laughs> it really pissed me off, by the way. Um yeah. but I'm gonna address it to you, right? So we don't bullshit each other. I think I know what. 
Yeah. Well, let, me, let, know let, me, let, me read it. let me read it out for you. It pissed yeah. me off. Yeah. I'm going to give you a chance to, to, to respond. But it really pissed me off. And it, <laughs> it, it strikes at the heart of me. Right? Don't give yeah. me a bullshit answer here because yeah. I'll tell you a part of that. Yeah. Yeah. All that group, you, was, you I was going to lead you into this. I was going to lead you into the den. But I said, no. I see you as a, as a different type of guy. I don't want to lead you down the road and take you down somewhere to, to, to ambush you. I'm going to be straight up and tell you. I'd rather deal with the issue now than later on. You said yeah. the Phoenix accused group yeah. is a smokescreen to law voters. You guys are despicable, <laughs> just like the many other CPF groups that are promoting the Democratic Alliance. For how many months yeah. your group is, not, is existing or not one successful bail application granted? You know yeah. why? Because of the hidden agenda to lure voters. Now, the Phoenix yeah. accused group is my baby. I formed the Phoenix I accused I never group. knew that. <laughs> I formed the group. I formed yeah. the Facebook group. I formed it. And then you go and tell yeah. me that yeah. this is a smokescreen to lure voters, that I am... No, no, no. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't tell you that. Wait, come on. Dude, come to the I party. I didn't tell you that. I told... What are you I told one of the members on there because why I said this was, uh, why I said this was, thanks. Why I said this was, it's three months. These guys are languishing in prison. They, they, their families, uh, they are breadwinners, right? And I questioned the fact, the legal processes, which was, these guys are paying costly <coughs> fees, legal fees. Which this organization? Hold on, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come across, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Come across as I've spent fifteen minutes, twenty minutes with you. You're quite an astute yeah. guy. You got an history of all of this, but you go yeah. make a blanket statement without knowledge. Now this is where what irritates me about people. You make a blanket statement without even understanding yeah. what is behind it. And this is how we mislead people. How we take people on the wrong road. Why you and yeah. I could be straight away could be enemies without really understanding what it is. I've been because, watching the yeah. comments here. People telling me, yeah. the reason I brought it up now is people are telling me, yeah. you should look out for this guy. This guy is good. He knows. And I said, but hell, man, <laughs> this stupid comment from an idiot. This was an idiot to me. Not an idiot. Story. Not an idiot. Because why I made that comment was, the, you, the legal system is such, we failed on those bail, uh, bail applications. You had to take it to a higher court. But what was happening was it, the, the cases kept on getting, you had to petition the, the Durban High Court. And I made that uh, vociferous statement all the time on, on this group. I, I told then, them, if these guys I want, are not I want, I want to ask you, I just addressed somebody today yeah. from the DA posting something, yeah. Councillor Johnson posting a, a comment that is, that is, that's, not, that's really, I think is, you know, if we're going, if we go, I mean, this, but this you're a, the, you're, But you're a strong guy. You can, you can take some slack. No, no, All no, no, no. Want but, to know is, I, I, is the disappointing for, is the justice? Give me a chance to talk, Is the justice for the accused? Yeah, a, a, okay, a, an organization that's not a fly by night organization. Now you're telling me you the you the founder of it. We never knew that. Your colors are branded in orange. It's the very same colors of the Active Citizens Coalition that just came up the other day, and then you've got. Uh, uh, the ho a whole load of uh, councillors there from the very same, um, well, what can I say? What councillors that are competing in the in the upcoming election? So when you look at the branding, it's orange, and then obviously you say, you know what? This thing is aligned to a political party, and it hurts me to see people that were defending our communities lying in jail while people are trying to raise funds. And I'm not saying you that you're doing it in a very very uh, disconcerted effort, but what I'm saying is. I feel that these guys should be given bail because you can't yeah, have... On, all the time, yeah. I gave you time. Let's go backwards. That's not yeah. too far. Firstly, yeah. uh, Mervyn, where you're failing is and what what, yeah. what pissed me off. And we and mm. I play state cards here. It, it pissed me off. And I think you are wrong, totally offline. And, and you need, yeah. as a leader, need to show other people. When you don't know something and you don't know facts, go find out the facts first before you're going yeah. to accuse. Because remember, as you know now, you took a direct stab at me. Who, first of yeah. all, I'm an unemployed yeah. uh, comic entertainer. I haven't. I don't make a living out of this. I take my yeah. time and effort to do this. And then to have someone like you, a leader, come out and attack the group for being whatever name, disgusting and whatever, that's totally uncalled for. And if you're going to learn anything out of this, which you want to do, is we should never do that. First, find out the facts. Even your, your assumption of the orange 
I designed mm. the logo on my own in my computer and I used the last color that was there, it was orange. And then so it's coincidental you, that the same thing the happens with the guy ACC. today. They take yeah. because you're in politics and you want to fight with another political party, you take everything mm. and lump it into one uh body. That is so incorrect. Will you change, will you change your then, wait, let, let me finish <laughs> and then when it came to a lady like Keshni Soleil, let me tell yeah. you something, right? And yeah. we must never I, I'm 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 talking about utopian world now, right? Yeah. Where the other person, even the Keshni Solai, whoever it is, the councillor Johnson, whatever, let us not try to dig each other's eyes out and fight those guys on whatever they are. Because let me tell you something where you are wrong, right? This yeah. lady here yeah. is an activist that I got a humongous respect for. She's also an ordinary citizen. I'm just gonna, yeah. I'm just gonna sing a praise for you for you understand yeah. who you attacked, yeah. right? So you understand yeah. a bit more. Why you are I haven't wrong heard of her, by the way. Right? I haven't heard yes. of her. Yes. And and I'm glad you haven't heard of her in that way, right? Because yeah. she hasn't been out there doing stuff. When I say activist, what I mean is when I started the park with the posing movement last year, mm. she was an ordinary citizen who said, Casey, how can mm. I help to drive this movement? And from the time she came on, she went hammer and tongs yeah. every day, going out to do whatever she needed to do. All I saw was the raw passion and the raw thing yeah. to make something happen, right? So I'm going to give you a political agenda. Everybody wants it in this country. Everybody Hold wants it in this country. Hold on. Yeah, everybody. but not everybody. Everybody <laughs> wants it, but not everyone's prepared to go out and do anything about it. Yes. Not everyone wants to go out and do something about it. So let me tell you where you are You yeah. are wrong on judging that person and where yeah. you should have a retract yeah. and accept people for who they are. Two months yeah. ago, I approached her and I said, you know what, dear? You're doing all of this work. You've got a passion for it. Why don't you turn it into a career? I I was the one who yeah. mentioned to her for the very first time, put the idea in her head to go into this. Yeah. So remember the fact that she's on the group, by the way, she's on she's she's even on the I'll tell you this now. I took her and she's on the banking account of the group, not as ACC, as the person yeah. I know, as the person yeah. I trust, who's got my details, whatever with her. When I go sign, whatever, she got my details on it as well. That's a trust I have in that sort of a person. Nothing to do with ACC. I think the political affair has to do just with the... It's just reason. coincidental that the colors are, the, are <coughs> orange. Is that what you're trying to say? I said it at the beginning. Yeah, okay. Absolutely right. coincidental. No, I just want to That's clear that because why I'm, why, I'm, why I'm emphasizing on that point is that, I mean, you cannot have... Uh, even what you're running has to be apolitical. And I've, I've, I mean, uh, the, the other thing why I question is I also run an NPO and you've got to have three signatories. So, and we're very strict. I mean, if I use my vehicle to, for example, so let me, so let me, let, or court, let me, let, I gotta, let me go backwards. Let I got to give, let, yeah. Let me go backwards. And then when it Casey, comes to it, uh, no, admit it. These things can go wrong. <coughs> where there's money is involved. And we were one of the first guys that said, you know what? Let's start a justice project for these guys. Okay. But and yes, together yes, with yes, myself and Vegas, yes, we yes, where said, the, let's start this. By the way, I'm glad we're having this, this argument because it, it speaks yeah. to the characters of you and I, whatever. But here's the yeah, thing. Yeah. Somebody's running a, a food, a, an organization giving food or whatever and doing something else. Yeah. In my thing, it's not my place to go and question that guy and do what he's doing. Let him carry on and do his thing. It's not my, I'm not going... You see, what you did was wrong is you're coming on to tell me what I'm... Now, basically, you're trying to expose us for being thieves or being... Uh, I can't. Under, under I can't. Whatever. It's my right. It's my right no. as a citizen. No. If exactly. you are doing something... But you should have contacted me and told me, uh, well, uh, Governor, this is... Uh, and I would have accepted... I would have accepted what the principles, what the ideologies is. of your... My point your, is... My point, my point goes back to your post. Yeah. You mentioned things here about the disgusting group uh, and you mentioned about... Uh, <coughs> no, be factual. Be factual. What... Read the post out because I write a lot of posts. I intimidate a lot of politicians. Right, I, I, I do a lot of stuff on social the public, media. The public are listening. They can, they can, they can, they can, they can make their own mind up. No, most definitely, most definitely, yeah. they are the judges. So, on the Phoenix Accused Group, which is formed for yeah. and behalf to help the people of Phoenix, right? Who are the yeah. accused, right? Yeah. A group of people like me came on board and decided to try and make a difference when nobody was doing anything. I didn't hear of you. I didn't hear what you were doing. No, 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 The Phoenix okay. Justice Project with Hold Paul on. Vegan, who was on my campaign. You didn't listen to my words. Initially was started See, off. You're not listening. You become a part of the listening. Listen, listen. Yeah. 
Listen, okay. I said I didn't yeah. hear of you. Doesn't mean you wasn't yeah. doing anything. I said I yeah. didn't yeah. hear. You understand? Yeah. Big difference. So my my words okay. were clear. I said I didn't yeah. hear about you. I didn't say yeah. I didn't know. But even now, there are projects happening in Phoenix which I don't know about, and people yes, don't no, know. Yes, no, hundred percent. Like oh, I didn't know the work you are doing. I didn't yeah. hear yeah. about it. So my words were yeah. clear. Yeah. I said I didn't he- hear yeah. about you and what you were doing. Yeah. Phoenix accused is, a, is is the way you use words. What you say, Phoenix is a smokescreen to lure voters. Already you went to ACC, you became a political group. You said all of that, just like the many other CPF groups. I mean, to use the word despicable. Uh, then you went on to asking about uh, bail, why the bail is not being granted. We didn't need all of that. I'm saying to you, the reason I brought us out now is, and don't yeah. justify it. Let's not go into it. In that sense, I'm saying to you, you are such a leader, which I can see. There's a, yeah. There should have been a different way in how you approach this, because if you are wrong, you hurt people yeah. like me, you hurt the good people, you hurt people trying to do the right thing. Uh, from sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, if I hurt you, Casey, I really apologize. And uh, I, maybe you guys need to form a coalition, not an active citizen coalition, but a coalition with guys like us. And probably create a think tank because the the issue is we did we, in fact there's a lot of fly by night organizations out there and how so we let, became into yeah, let's, just, let's, let's yeah. just deal with that first. We, yeah. we for me anybody. So are you guys deal, an NPO, Casey? <laughs> so wait, let me or, let me just, just uh, let's deal with public that. Entity. Anybody trying to do yeah. something good uh, in your community or whatever, we should first yeah. try and support them and see until you find out something for yourself. Well, you wrong. guys didn't have an open meeting and uh, uh, a meeting where the public was invited. And I know it's COVID and what have you, but at least invite the guys. Let me let me tell you something yeah. first of all. I'm all the way down, and this is not even in Phoenix to try and get information out of anyone. It took me more than two months to get where we yeah. are now to have a task team. I formed the Facebook yeah. group uh, Phoenix Accused. Got over three thousand people on the group. Of three thousand yeah. people, you ask somebody for one thing, not one person will respond and say. They will do that. Yeah. So you yourself. What, know what, to... Yeah. What happened, Casey, was I met with one of the women that, um, you know, sorry, one of the uh, kids of the guy that uh, is with his net governor and all these guys. And that woman told me that, well, a child told me that it's 7,000 rand a pop for these attorneys, Carl van der Merwe. And that infuriated me, it made me angry. And I said, how is it, you know, either it was pro bono services, etc. And that made me mad because I also come from a bit of a legal background. I'm busy completing my LLB. And I said, you know, uh, I know the processes. I know guys that have, uh, for example, Bongi Kosi Kanile that petitioned I, a higher court. Can I ask you a question? Being, do, you, do, you know, yeah. do you know all the names of all the accused and who's, who's, who is representing them? Well, we've asked for a... I, I had a meeting with what's this no, guy? Answer John my question. Do you, do you know the name of all the accused and all the attorneys? Of all the accused and all of the attorneys representing them. Well, bo- sorry. Do you know the name of all the accused persons yes. and all the attorneys who are representing them? That that is spoken in the media. Yes, I don't think I'm privy to go into those court cases, but that's what in the media. No, and- I'm yeah. asking you a question. Do you know the names of all the accused and all the attorneys who are representing them? Well, Carl van der Merwe. Uh, what's this guy? Uh, Chris Garvin. Don't ask him a question. Do you know the name? Not all. all not all. Accused? Not all. Not all. Thank you very much. Now, yeah, you, where all. do you live in? Chai, do, you do you live know in them? Phoenix? <laughs> do you know do, them? Do you, live, do you live in Phoenix, Reservoir Hills, Mere Bank? Where do you live? Phoenix. Right. Thank you. Very much. You live in Phoenix, right? Yeah. I'm not taking a stab at you. Yeah. But I think I know more of the accused and the attorneys than you know. Not because I'm smarter than you or whatever. It's taken yeah. me a long time to gather yeah. the information. To get yeah. to know, do you know? Even now, you spoke about uh, the attorneys' fees or whatever. Do you know? Is it yeah. even at this point in dealing with the accused? We're dealing. We yeah. don't know who's who is paying, who is not paying, what is pro bono, who's paying what, what fees. Even the figures you are, hand, are giving out. No, this was given sure. by the family. This was given yeah. by the family. Well, the family so, themselves are giving information. The family yeah. themselves are giving information which is not necessarily yeah. true. I've experienced that as well. So what I'm trying Perfect. to say to you is, and just to put you in the group, it's been a long yeah. haul road trying to get information, trying to get, if you were on that group, you fa- you kept 
aren't seeing me asking for information, asking for information, posting on my yeah. group, who are the accused, who are these people, who are the attorneys. We've now yeah. got a very small group of people trying to assist in terms of, I think by now, we've got the most composite list of accused, their families and their attorneys and trying to figure out where we are. Of course, we could use the participation of everybody else, but people are on it for different reasons. So exactly. we that's so, so remember what you said about the group and where we are and what we're doing. We've done a lot of work very slowly. I mean, to get a bank account, to get internet banking, to get people to come and sign, to be where we are, to have transparency in all of that is not easy. And it's individuals. So I, I thought this interview, I thought this interview was about politics. Now you're digressing into a different from the I'm, N1, you've gone to the N7 now. I'm glad, I'm glad. But, but, but listen here, but listen here, Casey. Let me let me be honest with you. I think the story in Phoenix had not been told, right? Properly. So there was a, a commission called the Cultural... Let me, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Wait, why we me. wait. <laughs> let me tell you why we digress and why it was important and why I do this yeah. with people and with guys yeah. like you. It's about figuring yeah. you out. What do you mean what guys like me? Party? What do you mean, I mean guys like me? I mean politics of... I don't mean... Sorry, I didn't mean I'm that disrespect. I'm 20% no, mean, politician, 80% okay. activist. Yeah. Okay, so when I say guys like you, don't disrespect. I mean, people who come yeah. on the platform who I'm, yeah. I'm basically interviewing. That's what I meant. I didn't yeah. mean any disrespect. Yeah. When we talk these things, it's outside your line of, but me and the public figure out a little bit more about you. That's that's why I went yeah. into that. It was important yeah. because what you said, how you said it, what you meant yeah. by it. It, it speaks yeah. a lot about your character. Because on the one hand, yeah. I'm seeing Mervyn, this guy who's quite astute. <laughs> he's been in the community. He's been whatever. And then I see Mervyn giving me a, a dumbass comment. No, I have to. I have to give you a shambok because that's the only way to keep the guys in line. Because when you work with public funds, it's very difficult. Right. Trust so, me. So, so it's very so difficult. Let, and so it's let a let thankless me, job. It's yeah. a thankless so job you, what you're doing, Casey. And, and while it's a thankless job, you should yeah. now step back and, and analyze what you said. Because let me tell you, I started yeah. this thing from here with two or three people wanting to get on board, yeah. wanting to do this, wanting to do that, wanting to raise funds. For what? Do you know I put out at least six times or seven times on the Facebook group for an auditor, an accountant to come all of the, Do you know not one I've person? Seen that. Took us up. I've seen that. I was, I not was really... one person. Not yeah. one person took us up to say they will audit the books, right? But when yeah. something goes wrong, everyone wants to know what happened to the money. We're not an and NPO. Yeah. We're not an NPO, not an NGO. We're just a group of people trying to assist. Wherever we've already started assisting, we already yeah, know where yeah. we are. So, yeah. in that case, when people want to do a lot of good or, or trying to do good, we can either help yeah. them or support them or try to break them down. And that, for me, for you yeah. as the leader, I need to find that because yeah. even I went into Keshni Soleil. These are good people that maybe when you have a, a different opinion, yeah. then you have to be at loggerheads with each other. Whereas. We should be working together. No, we can di together. we can di disagree on political ideology, but what I am saying is, we, we wanted complete justice for these families, and having having an oversight, something that would I I, I don't mind even funding, or, or donating, or getting guys to donate, but we wanted. See, you telling me this now that you one of the key uh, uh, the, the key elements that that was involved in. And, Sorry, man. Something went wrong there. Yeah, so we didn't know this. And I mean, we just thought you came in and then you were assisting AC, ACC. That's the impression that people are getting. Because if we knew that you were, uh, you know, you you are actually the, the foundation of this, we would not have uh, questioned it because we understand what you've done in the community. But we thought you were just lured there, brought in there as a face, marketing face, because you look so good in your aloe vera. And then we thought, you, hey, just, you know what, this, you is just, gonna, uh, this is what's going to happen. You just, you just contradicted yourself. Then you first you said you didn't know it was me. Then you said it was me because I thought I was part of now the that I know. I said now that I know it's you. I said now that now that I know. Because, yeah, now that you know, because you came up and you said. And we wanted actually a, a um, well, what can I say, a WhatsApp, uh, not a WhatsApp, a, a web page to be established with the bank details, with the stuff, the current happenings, you know, but I think Facebook works fine. So we're so, not we're not abreast, we're not kept abreast as to what's going on with these guys languishing in prison. As I said, it hurts me because I was a prison warden for ten years. I heard some of the guys were assaulted, and uh, some of the guys, um, you know, were uh, raped according to the rumors that's surfacing, and it hurts us because these guys should be granted bail on a three to eight release. So. 
the thing is why it's more punishment and and it hurts us because if you get guys that are that are that are have been key instigators getting released on 2500 and bail and guys that were protecting our communities manal must not languish in, in in prison that's not right that's not so, justice so, so so on that on that note you're a, you're a guy from phoenix you are connected in phoenix yeah i would think you would be doing more than me in terms of putting this thing together no 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 it's just that the basis the whole thing the way you ran it in terms of no, not me not me forget yeah. me forget my group yeah. we didn't we didn't know who's the structure and the structure is the most important thing because i've done so much of work in phoenix and everybody has got the hidden agendas you know i'll give you an example politicians have benefited illegally from these housing in uh, housing projects in phoenix right and i don't trust any of them i was part of this phoenix a unity project uh, that was uh, actually uh, initiated by bishop ruben phillips and when there was uh, money and stuff involved and they ran a campaign with the uh, with the with, with the lotus fm we don't see food gardens in phoenix and this thing can go very easily wrong and there were rumors surfacing that these monies were being used for political agendas you know we ran our uh, our our, our a political campaign with our own funding with our own savings that we took out from uh, our accounts and uh, eventually you know what sometimes in no, politics it's not what you the think the question i asked you yeah. early on is yeah. you are in phoenix right and this mm. phoenix issue is a burning issue that many Very people much. walked away from you Very being much. in phoenix and you being living in phoenix you should be more connected than me you could have done more than what i've done in terms of putting this all thing together finding the accused finding what's happening finding why they've been denied bail what have you and your structures done okay. to create something okay. like me am i let me finish okay. so you know so what yeah okay. let me finish the question so you'll answer okay. it properly yeah the what i try to create i would think yeah. you are in a better position with your contacts in the area to be able to set yeah. up this group i would have joined you not me yeah. and all so in the meantime yeah. what have you guys done your group of people well, and you your party in yeah. terms of finding well, out these accused finding out the bail finding out what's happening getting yeah. involved with well, in these guys who stood to protect the community what have you guys done for that well well one of the meetings that we had and if you, if you can go into my facebook profile <coughs> was with the minister deputy minister of justice which was john jeffries we had him here and obviously we had to explain to him the dynamics the political setting the the social economic strata of phoenix and uh, they after he actually took heed of the entire thing and we they listened to both communities as, as such it took place at the gandhi settlement and i was part of that together with bishop uh, paul verain that was you know with the trc so you had high level guys there and we want to know as to what were the charges these guys were actually incarcerated for on both sides because i think there were also guys from the amouti areas that were but i'm speaking more specific about guys that stood up and held the barricades and held the fort because uh, i also did uh, uh, casey a 702 uh, interview where i said that this is the third time in the history from 1860 that the indian community have been attacked it's the third time okay. and i went on record and i said this and it, it was not to buy political favor or any of this it is the truth i mean guys that were defending the periphery areas and and can you believe it i've been interviewed by the bbc by all international by republic tv the works but not uh, not the not the uh, etv enca because dasan tathi refused to interview me and not by the sabc i sent out emails and uh, because we ha- also have a very close relationship with abishlali uh basam jundolo so those guys uh, uh actually released a media statement jointly and we said we want calm peace and unity in these areas because they were also going to be coerced to attract muslim businesses and uh, this is no no lie so we came up together and we said you know what we're going to do it for social cohesion for unity and there's a lot of interviews you can go on to my facebook uh, profile you can see in fact I'll make it known. I was one of the uh, first guys. I think together with Shamin uh, Thakur. That, uh, but I was putting pressure on the night when that when those riots took place, when the riots started. That that Sunday when it got active, I was not uh, sending out uh, voice messages. Yes, I was see, seeing all the voice notes and all these videos. But we immediately started to contact the Indian government, and we <coughs> must thank the BJP government. The BJP government actually assisted in putting pressure. 
on the South African government in terms of, you know, uh, whatever businesses they had here, in terms of international relations. And the moment the BJP government put pressure on South Africa in terms of the army, what happened was China, you know, China and India don't have a good relationship in terms of borders and stuff. They placed uh, 50,000 Chinese soldiers right on the edge of, of, of the Indian border. So because, I mean, these are two superpowers and they obviously uh, Indian people have a lot of business interests in the country. So what I'm trying to say is I was one of the first guys that sent out uh, um, emails to the Indian embassy, the Japanese embassy, the UK parliament, and also the... So we tried our best in terms of trying to ensure international pressure happened. Uh, so I see your hand up. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to get a word in. So I'm going to I'm catch up trying to get a word in. I thank you for that. But I'm sure you're surprised. Have... You're surprised about this. But we don't go out and say, you know, to be I, honest with you, 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 to be honest with you, wait, I want to tell you something else which you don't know. And which you no, can, I, can I just finish? Can I get a word in here at least? Because yeah, okay. <laughs> you gave me a nice uh, thing. And I know, you, I, I don't doubt you've done those things. But yeah. you, you didn't answer my question. What yeah. have you done? For the those yeah. guys who have been arrested, a lot of them falsely arrested. You didn't answer my question. What okay. have okay. you and your party done in terms of okay. finding them, finding okay. their families? They are now okay. some guys 72, 70 plus days yeah. without bail. Yeah. What have okay. you done for that? Where, the letter that was drafted to the uh, to Shamila Batoy was drafted by myself together with Paul Reagan. We, we sat together. We asked him for forty eight hours to give us a nameless and also to grant bail under a 328 I release, which is the Criminal Procedure Act. I mean, nobody should be, I mean, these are not flight risks. They have uh, fixed abodes, they have jobs. Some of them are bread, bread winners. We had drafted a letter to Shamila Bhutto and we were given a 48 hours. And uh, thereafter, we, we engaged with uh, one or two of the families and we asked them, you got to petition a higher court because federal magistrate court, I mean, the NPA was not granting bail. So what we said was, we are willing to come on board, petition a higher court, and ensure these guys get bail. And uh, obviously, it, it was up to the families to, to try. And we were trying to get lawyers for human rights involved. And uh, I might be actually taking up a position with the lawyers for human rights in the next uh, upcoming weeks as a candidate uh, attorney. But uh, the issue is that we tried all, all our means. And some of the uh, Indian lawyers didn't want to touch this. The political guys, because they felt as if, you know what, uh, they didn't want to compromise their names. And uh, we, we asked a lot of guys, come on, man, come, come on, pro bono. You know, for us, for yourself, I think it was Casey Naidoo that withdrew his services. So the thing was, I, I, I don't know why. Uh, into, and I do a lot of work with, with attorneys. And when it came to this issue, they were like, they, they, they didn't want to even offer their services uh, pro bono. So I said, you know, who do we, who do we get hold of? So... Right. Lawyers so, for Human see, Rights was one of see, what, see, yeah. see, whatever you've done, I don't deny or yeah. not say that nothing good. What we have done, yeah. Lewis, I yeah. never went near the High Consulate, I never went near BJP, I never went near Shamila Boy. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, I didn't write any letters. Why not? Why, why not? Differ, have not done that. People differ in how, how they yeah. handle it. My main yeah. concern is was the guy who was inside, the guys who are being arrested from the time of the unrest, people walked away from them. Like you said, the attorneys even walked away. Nobody wanted to touch yeah. these guys. Nobody wants yeah. to go near them. That is why even yeah. now, although you are in Phoenix, I, out yeah. of Phoenix, have a better composite list. I know the family is mm. more than you. I know the attorney is mm. more than you. I know where the families lie. I know but none, are, but none have been given bail. None have been given really? bail. Although you know all these factors. If you set one test case for bail, uh, I mean, I mean, the state not cannot this, keep on bringing not, these not guys my, to the court. Yeah, when, the state when you say none have been given bail, court. none of the 10, none of the 9, none of the 56 have been given bail, then you'll be factually incorrect because many have been granted bail. Are you talking about the okay. Phoenix 9 or are you talking about the rest of the people? No, no, no. What I'm talking about, uh, what I read in the media is what I, uh, I mean, what, what I believe in. So for now, incorrect. all I hear is, all, yeah, what so I hear you, is that uh, there were so, three that granted bail. If I'm, so you're factually incorrect. There's no yeah. three granted bail. Others have been granted bail. The Phoenix mm -hmm. Nine, which you should know about, is your area. The first nine that were arrested in terms of the thing, they are more than 70 days in incarceration. And the reason why they haven't been granted bail is because they are facing one charge, one charge. That is why they all are linked to the one charge and they can't be granted individual bail 
because it's linked to one charge. So bail is granted yes, collectively. That's the that's yes, the sir. legal thing about it. So even that story, I have been trying to train my mind what is happening, finding out the knowledge. My point you is, you know, again, it's, is that, you know, it's punishment. It's punishment. Come on, you don't need to be a rocket scientist. Is that punishment? It's pu it's punishment. It's punishment. They want to punish the uh, the community for standing up for themselves and defending the community. It's punishment. What else could it be? Because if who, the criminal who, procedure who act is being, who, who, the system, who is being punished? The system. The system. Who is being you know punished? the system. This who is bureaucratic being system. Sorry. Who is being punished? Us as minorities. Who else? No, you talk about the accused. Obviously, if there's a bail system in place and you're not getting bail for whatever reason. And now the entire uh, debacle has shifted from the instigators to people that were defending themselves. Obviously, there's some sort of okay. shift in the let me, entire... Let, 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 let me end with this. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you this much. Yeah. Your knowledge on that is not... You, you, uh, you said no. you granted me 30 minutes. I will, I'm still going to give you your time. I'm not going to cut you off. Don't worry. I'm going to give you your time <laughs> to speak your time. No, we are I, 50 now. No, but I'm going to give you your time to, to speak your thing. I'm yeah. going to tell you this much regarding the Phoenix accused. Yeah. You need to brush up on your knowledge. You don't know much. People have been. No, no, no. I don't bail. need to brush up on my knowledge. The thing is this. The thing is this. Why should I brush up on my knowledge, Casey, when information is so scarce? So you interact with the families, right? You try and ensure that these people have everything. I mean, we're fighting. We, we're not fighting only the Phoenix accused battle. We're fighting corruption in Phoenix. Wherever we get a chance, we try and ensure, we try and engage with these families that we know. We, uh, to be honest with you, I mean, even what you did, going to the family's house, you compromising those families. I would have never done that because at the end of the day, you, you're compromising their safety. And as I made mention, these guys were actually assaulted and what have you. That's what I heard. So by going to their homes, you're actually compromising this entire situation, their, their safety and security. So, you know, if I was you, I would do it a little different. But uh, you, I mean, if you want to expose yourself and expose your stuff, what you're doing is up to you. But what I'm saying is just a little bit of advice because end of the day, we don't want secondary attacks in the community. We still want to well, you know, a lot of people in hindsight. A lot of people in hindsight. Your kids oh. and our kids still have to, and and the African community people, still have to. A lot of people can give a lot of advice in hindsight when they themselves did nothing in the first place. So, for example, the guy goes up the it, mountain, walks halfway, and does something. That's your they, opinion. They, that's your. That's your that's opinion. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. That's, your opinion. that's why I'm that's saying. That's your it. opinion. As you and said, you don't live in Phoenix, so I mean, I haven't seen you at the court. I've been at the court a couple of times. I've not seen you. I've been with that uh, All Lives Matter protest one, once or twice. So I mean, with me, it's you got to build momentum. You got to ensure you you're the person of principle. If you're saying you're fighting for the Phoenix accused, why are they languishing in some? Most of them languishing in jail. Why are we not putting pressure on the NPA, Shamila Batoy? I mean, the instigators are walking free. Uh, uh, politicians are walking free that started this mess, that started think, this can racial I, division. Can, I, can so, I give you one reason why they're still languishing in that question? Because when we have yeah. people fighting amongst each other, worrying about colors of groups that are no, there, no, 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 no. together, it's not part, color. Fight a better, but, ah, no, 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 no. you need to be astute. You as, you, as a leader, you say you want to compete, you got to have a clean record in terms of finances. If, if you, if we want to criticize government with all their failures, we also need. I mean, I would like to have a look at you guys' constitution, whether you're like duly constituted, how did you get your mandate to even get signing powers, etc. But that's a debate for another day. But what I'm saying is, I yes. will definitely yes. support for you, you and your for you, for you to say that. So you, you will it takes spend you, you know, you ever heard, it takes you 20 years to build your name and it takes you 20 seconds to drop it. I mean, now that you told me you're involved, I mean, Get the bank details going. We definitely, I'm, uh, uh, and this is on a light, on, not on a light, I'm being serious. So we're willing to contribute. We'll get the guys, our membership to contribute. No, but now you're contradicting yourself because I don't have an NPO. I don't have a constitution. Yeah. I don't know why? mandate. I didn't take anything. Why? <laughs> because I didn't why did you? Why did you come to Phoenix Tenants? We'll help you draft all that. No, I didn't, even know about Phoenix, I didn't even know about Phoenix Tenants. I think yeah, you know why? Mind, by the way. No, you and know I why? Think... We're not allowed, wait, we, we're not allowed in the local media space because we take on a multi-billionaire which we've dropped a couple of times and he does a four-page advert for his supermarkets in phoenix so therefore whatever we do the phoenix tabloid don't want to hear of us the rising sun does not want to hear it's all uh, political politically aligned uh, media houses 
<coughs> but we can get we can get the BBC to interview us. This morning, I had the Mail and Guardian interviewing me at, at my house. And uh, we've had uh, the Republic TV from, interview, uh, from India actually interviewing me. But the local media space cannot. So that tells you something about us. It's either we're doing something very right or somebody hates us for doing these right things. So I don't uh, know, Casey, but I'm willing to help. I'm willing to come down. Do you, do you, do you, yeah. In terms of the law, do you need an NPO yeah. number to raise funds? Uh, you do, because remember, those guys that fund you, uh, they, because you're a public benefit well, organization. Let me, well, let me stop you right they there. Can, they can let write it off. Right there. Let me stop you right there. That's where you are factually incorrect. You don't need an NPO number. You don't need a fundraising number. The law a law in the country allows you to raise a funds. Just, without an NPO a number, justice project. A fundraising number. A justice project that, that, you are, that you are doing. Yes. So how do you, how do you, uh, how do you account? No, firstly, I'm saying, in yeah. terms of the law, in terms of no, the why, law, wait, you don't wait, need a fundraising Casey, number, you don't need an NPO number. Yeah, right. Casey, why I'm telling it? you this, why I'm telling you this, right. uh, if you look at uh, your, your businesses, you're involved with a lot of uh, companies in terms of your businesses, of, of businesses that would want to support you. They can write it off in terms of the income tax return. The other thing is that if you have attorneys and if you are an NPO, then they can get uh, rebates. They, uh, certain stuff can be uh, zero rated. So that's why I'm, um, I'm telling you, maybe we need to sit down and I don't mind being part of uh, no, no, no. this. So, and just, yeah. uh, so, so, so two things out of that. Advisor. Firstly, I, was, firstly yeah. I, as I asked you, do you need to have the numbers? You said yes, so that's factually incorrect. However, yes, if, you you, if you have... Where, no, you where did you hear this, that you don't need... Go read up, a, a read up on the law. Go read no, up no, on no, the law. No, 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 no. So how do you get your mandate? Because you need a 51%. Uh, I mean, mandate. If you so, you, you cannot register as a company, but it's not a company. It's not a company. It's not, you, you. You're not. You're not doing things for profit. Am I right? You. At the end of the day, your books need to balance you. You've actually disbursed whatever income right. you have. Oh, I'm saying. So it should be I'm zero saying, on your I'm financial. Saying, yeah. I'm saying go. I'm saying go read up on fundraising and who can raise funds in terms of the law of South Africa. You'll find that out. However. You are quite correct yeah. in saying if you have an NPO number and businesses co uh, contribute, then they get tax right off. Public benefit. NPO public number. benefit. And I'll, okay. end, I'll end the point by saying this. You don't need an NPO number. You don't need a fund. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll disagree with you. But anyway, I do things the straight way. I'm not saying you're not doing Maybe there is a loophole. I don't know. But I work within the framework of the law. No, it's not a loophole. It's not a loophole. Uh, it is, it is what is done. It, 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 Banking it is, regulations. It, it is what is done. So what we can uh, we are speaking about the Phoenix Nine. Can you get them out? Yes or no? So sumo on. So anyway, let's return back to uh, uh, forum for service delivery. I'm going to taking up your time in that, but obviously we're trying to get a bit more insight on you. Um, how do you expect to help or your uh, party expect to bring about change in uh, in for Phoenix? How many wards, by the way, in Phoenix are you contesting? In Phoenix, we are contesting three wards, uh, Ward 48, 49, uh, 50. I'm, I'm, I'm contesting Ward 49, and I call it the mecca of corruption because there you had like 700 million of treasury funds. If not more, this thing goes in the billions. So we managed to get a proclamation from the president uh, to actually investigate corrupt housing in the uh, Phoenix area. I sent you the, the proclamation uh, from the uh, Government Gazette. So, yeah. So we mean business in this in, in Ward 49, and we're not going to hold back. And we're not going to, we're going to ensure, you see that orange uniform, that orange color, we want these guys in orange at the end of the day. Because you cannot take public uh, public money that's meant for poor people, and then you want to benefit of this. I mean, 700 million rand is not 700 rands. It's money that could be used in the infrastructure of Phoenix. Okay, you want, so you're saying yeah. you want to do that, but you become a ward councillor. How are you going to put yeah. people in uniform? You need to be looking after your ward, you see, on your ward, starting things. Yeah, no, 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 no. See, Casey, that, see, is your, that is your, that is your, that is your. I'm asking. I'm asking you thing. the question. That's yeah. Oh, okay. Asking. Okay. You see, this, there's, there's, there's two pillars of governance, right? You've got the policies, regulations, procedures. You've got the municipal finance management act, the bylaws of the country. Then you've got the courts. The courts are the other pillar of governance where you ensure. That whatever the, the city manager or the mayor has signed himself and sworn into office, that he upholds it. So what I'm trying to say is you've got the courts. For example, I want to clog up that courtroom for guys that are that, that don't that, that lights and water and stuff that's cut. And also uh, the, the RMS billing, which is totally unfair. And that average household billing should now 
take place, that you are paying for a commodity that uh, uh, you didn't use. So what we are saying is that uh, put us prepaid meters, uh, go green. If you want to expropriate land, expropriate the coal fields, the coal mines, and ensure the price. I think we're paying around 250 okay, no, a kilowatt. Just, just yeah. for my knowledge, I'm, just want to come yeah. back. So you're yeah. contesting three wards, right? No, no, not three wards. It's eight. So it's Ward 70, Chatsworth. It's uh, Ward 31, Musgrave. Uh, and then it's uh, Ward 102, which is Mount Edgecombe, uh, Terence okay, Park. Let's, let's, and, say, uh, let's yeah. say, for argument's eight sake, wards. you win four, let's say you win four yeah. wards. You've got four yeah. ward councillors, yeah. right? Yeah. How do you bring about the change you're talking about as ward councillors? What, 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 what are their powers to, to, to hold government accountable, change the RMA system, all that? What's that? Okay. Okay, a ward councillor earns about 60,000 rand per month, right? That's his salary. 60,000, either 30 to 40, 30,000, 35,000. Uh, okay, after tax, okay, whatever. Okay, even if it's 30,000, even if it's 30, okay, 40,000, 35,000. Does a ward councillor need 35,000 rand to live and survive? He doesn't. So what we said is you will take half your salary for whatever and the other half will be spent on projects. That is, we've signed a memorandum of agreement between all our councillors, and that is what with us it's not it's not about money. Most of the guys well, are you're gonna you're gonna take fifty percent yeah. of your councillor's salary. Yeah, it's not as a joke to you. We've done it before. We've done no. it before. We've done it before. Okay, but that's for projects. You said you're gonna put the guys in overalls, stop corruption, do all of, I'm saying, yeah. how do four ward councillors even affect anything in council? You will be busy... We're doing, we're doing it now without being in council. As I made mention, the proclamation investigates Itaquini municipality. The yeah. proclamation, go onto the SIU website and you'll see Itaquini municipality. It came together with the PPE scandal. The, the entire stuff in terms of all the land transfers from Itaquini to uh, this developer in Phoenix is being investigated. It's being investigated. The wheels of justice turn slow, but we will get orange, orange uniforms. We will. And trust me, uh, we were one of the first guys to attach this specific developers complexes under POCA in Phoenix. No other organization has done this. The Phoenix tenants and residents, and therefore we decided to align ourselves politically now because we need a voice in in in, um, in Itikweni. <laughs> so you, are you, are one you, ward. Are yeah. you contesting Ward 49? What 49, yes, uh, that's as I made mention, that's where most of the corruption has taken place. Councillors, the, 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 the what is the councillor there your, as a house? Who's your, hey? who's, <laughs> your main, a who's your main rival in 149? My main rival is a, an ANC councillor elect that benefited for, from a house that was meant for a poor person. She's turned that house opposite the Hare Krishna Center into a business, into a business while our people are renting in backyards. And this infuriates me. Oh, come on, so man. Who's, who's, we, we the current, who's the current councillor in Ward 49? Uh, the current councillor is Dia. I think it's Tino Pele. But uh, I, I think people are fed up of, uh, of him. There, so. has, he not, has, Tino yeah. not, has Tino not produced? Well, well, what I can tell you is you cannot be a ward councillor and you, your wife is a community liaison officer for the Go Durban project. It's conflict of interest. It's nepotism. You can't, you can't do that. I mean, advertise a post, let people uh, apply for it. And obviously, these uh, these uh, community liaison okay. officers get paid 550 rand a day. You're quite the activist. So, so if you fall... I'm cutting, if, I'm cutting deep here. They're pulling all, all my boards in Phoenix. <laughs> all my boards have been taken off. Hey, at the moment, every party is claiming the same thing. Someone's taking their boards out. I just think there's one child running around taking the boards and using it by his posy for something else. I don't think you've got party issues yet. I don't think someone thinks there's a different guy stealing it for different reasons, right? Because everyone's talking about boards yeah. being stolen. No, what, 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 what were you saying, Casey? You made I just think something that, else. I just think the Masonite board is worth a lot to somebody uh, for putting in a dog shelter or something like that. Who is yeah. your main competition? I mean, your DA counselor uh, in the area. Let me ask you this, Matt. You're quite the activist. Yeah. How come you didn't tackle this councillor right to... What's your right as a Which, citizen when the councillor doesn't do his job? What did okay. you do to put him straight? Okay. Bring him to okay. This issue of the CLO position, I found out recently, right? So uh, the thing is, uh, you normally write up to the speaker of, of council and have so them... You're talking about his wife. Talking about his wife. Yeah, then you got the city... No, leave his wife. Unit. Talk about the councillor. I don't yeah. know what... what 
you say he wasn't doing a good enough job, job as a DA councillor, right? What did yeah. you do as a concerned citizen, knowing all the knowing all the avenues? How did you yeah. bring him into line? Why why didn't you put him straight? Why didn't you get him out? Why didn't you no, no, no. I've got no right to discipline a, 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 a member from the DA. So what we did was we just took over his queries, solved the queries, and then uh, took, took it from there. Obviously, we're waiting for election, and then we're going to compete in the election. But... Uh, I mean, we can't go and now take a baseball bat and no, 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 no I'm no. joking. No, okay, yeah. I'm saying and call him into you line. as you as um, mm. a, a concerned citizen. Obviously, the yeah. councillor is not performing. What are your rights as a citizen? How do you deal? Okay, let's take your councillor. Let's change yeah. the thing around. Your councillor yeah. is is a councillor. He not yeah. performing well. What is the yeah. right of the citizen against the council? What what are, can they do? Un unfortunately, the elected, the elected, the person that voted that person into power suffers. I mean, the majority will suffer because because there's not much you can do. He's got a five year term. He's got a five year term in that ward, and there's nothing much you can do because at the end of the day, it's a democratic process. Every five years, we run this. So, you, so you're saying you can't Even complain. If, you can't you complain. Can't, you you can't, can't hold him accountable. No, no, no. You can complain to the uh, speaker of, of, the, of the city, of the municipality, but you know who runs the city. Unless you can get a, a proper court order or, or something in terms of corruption and, 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 and open up charges against this guy, then obviously us as NPOs and, 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 uh, and we're not yet in council, it's very difficult to now go and, and, and hold this guy accountable. So the five-year term, I always tell the guys that when you vote and you vote a guy into power for five years, for five years, he's the boss. He's the mini president of that of that little constituency. And you can't just take him out unless he dies, unless he gets, he decides to move to another party or he decides to get a higher post, like get, getting a, a post at, uh, as an MPR. So you actually you think, so you're stuck saying, between a rock and a hard. That is you're why. Saying, yeah. You're saying a counselor Choosing your counselor. Yes, yeah. there is no measurable, uh, what can I say, um, measurable elements in terms of if the guy does not perform over the year that you can now, you know, just call up a meeting and boot him off. You cannot do that. You you, you just got to stick. Like, I mean, you know, for a fact, we had a useless of, of a president for, that we gave two terms. And unless his own party, uh, I mean, recalled him, that was the only time he was recalled. So, and I know the system, the elected system needs to change in terms of accountability, but you're stuck with that councillor. You're stuck with him. And uh, some people I always say this, even if the okay. DA puts a donkey, a cat, or a, I don't know this, our Indian people's mentality is such, we still feel a white man will come out of the grave and come and take over South Africa. We need to, we need to actually come to grips and say, you know what, we are leaders. We cannot allow another race to come and control our area and ensure, you know, when 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 J uh, 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 John Steele is a company town, it's like you know what the sheriff is the town. But now, now, yeah. now you're going. Your your, your <laughs> statement about can't allow another race to come into our that's a racist statement there already. How, no, how that's not racist. Can't allow another race Why to come are we here? not considered as leaders? Why are we not considered as leaders? And why then, are, and then you make, why, and why then, is this? Why and, is, then you make, and, and then you make and then you make a blanket statement that insults Indian people that says. Oh, you know our Indian mentality. Come on, dude. You're not all. You can't. You can't. No, 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 no. That's the truth. I mean, at the end of what? the day, our Indian we're people always looking. That makes it we're always well. looking for a Messiah. We're not looking within ourselves, and I, I'm also guilty of it because we're always waiting. You know what? Can this counselor do it for us? Can this guy do it? Can the DA do it for us? And you know what? When you go in there and when you listen to these guys, they they stay to protect their own uh, own interests. And unless you have a passion. Yeah. And that passion must come from in within you. And I'll tell you something, Casey. I grew up on a farm. You know, have you heard of the Watlow Estate, the Hillhead Estate? We were subjected to rations. You know, you never heard of rations. But uh, my grandfather worked on the on, on the Chukin field. You were given a little bit of salary, right? And you were given like uh, milli meal, rice, uh, your toilet paper, and uh, people survived on those meager this and they've done it. Now, you know, we looked at. Uh, who, who thought that we would come up from those areas, go to university, <coughs> educate ourselves? And obviously, sometimes we look at ourselves as being inferior. Our own selves as being inferior. We, 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 we feel as if we cannot lead. And uh, when you talk about Indian leadership, people talk about Raj Bansi. You, and, me on you know what? 
<laughs> people talk about that. And you know what? There's many other Indian leaders there. They're just scared to come out. And as I said, with this, even this who, is that? With, Hello? Uh, who are these other Indian yeah. leaders? Please speak up. I don't know who they are. Tell Casey, who they are. Casey, are. Casey. Because I thought Casey was going to start Nixa. Then I want to be the member of Nixa. Okay, tell me. Into a political me, party. <laughs> enough, you said there are many other Indian leaders. Name me some Indian leaders that I don't know about. That, that, are, that are what? That are this thing. Uh, they don't have the balls. No, name me any Indian leader. You tell me Indian leaders. Give me names. Okay, the <laughs> Irish ranking Indian leader that we had in, in the city was uh, Logi Nairu. I mean, um, I had a lot of uh, respect for him. In, Logi in Nairu was a leader? Uh, yeah, yeah. So-called leader. But he was one of the highest Hold ranking. Upon. Being a being a mayor, a deputy mayor, and being a leader are two different things. I, I don't know where... where no, at he... that time. You see, Casey, you don't know. Okay, he was He was very, very vociferous in the 80s and I was a, I was a young kid and his brother Nanda and stuff so they were very vociferous and I don't know you know when you get into politics sometimes and then you want to use his designer suits and you forget about the case co- he stayed in a flat next to my flat in 1046 he stayed in 1047 right and in Buffersdale because I schooled in uh, that is where I lived prior to moving to to Phoenix so uh, we we know each other. I mean, uh, they were very political in the UDF days, and obviously. No, no, and so we know had a good uh, had a good uh, history. We know about that, but uh, good run. Uh, I can't. Uh, I, I, I still well. I still think well. Uh, I still think that uh, well, who's this guy that comes to mind? is Strini Modri. I've got a lot of respect for Strini Modri. I've got a lot of respect for even Seth Cooper. I think uh, they're one of the few, you know, <laughs> what can I say, guys that are, that's got... Uh, I want to go back to the question I asked before, we, before we close. Yeah. You said there are, very, there are many Indian leaders. That are, give me the name. You mentioned Logi Nairo. Come on. That man's gone now. Let's leave him on top of Logi. <laughs> Who's the other name? Throw me the name. Let me see. Who, who stood okay. up? Okay. Who's, who stood up? Oh, Mervyn Governor was one of the uh, Indian leaders that stood up for, for the community. <laughs> I don't know. And... And I was one of the first names. guys. I was one of the first guys that that. Leave you. I'm talking other names. You said there are many <laughs> leaders. I want to know who these leaders are that I don't no, know. No, I mean, I mean pre nineteen pre nineteen ninety four. Pre nineteen. I, I, I can't. Got a long, I can't way, back. <laughs> got a long way back to find leaders. And the Mon- the, Monty, say, the Monty Nikers, the Yusuf Dadus, yeah. the well, that's the that's big back to them. Now there now there are no the leaders. Nobody's nobody's. Uh, and by the, way, just the baton, the baton have not been passed on to us, Casey. The baton, unfortunately, we've we, we, well, let me, I don't let know. Me, let yeah. me tell you a reason why that is. Because yeah. what's happened now in this, and you are an example of that as well. Because when we do want to stand up, when we do want to seek something, then we get there other you go again, trying, to, trying to chop you us sound, down. You, you sound like back. my wife. You sound like my wife. I'm glad I sound like your wife because she speaks the truth. We should put her on the platform. Because when you want someone to stand up, when someone does take a stand, then we have the others ready to find out, do you have this? Do you have that? Why are you not doing this? Do you got that agenda? Yeah. That's what if, we we knew, if we knew mother was there in the in the very beginning, it would have been a mother affair. But now we, we only got to know recently, today. And I, I think you had your reservations on interviewing me also. <laughs> No, I did have a reservation, but I gave you the platform. I said, "No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the platform." Uh, driven by the fact that we had that. So issue. do you said, do you regret it? I don't regret anything. I do things because I want to do it, and uh, we regret nothing. People hear about yeah. you. People know about you. People learn about you. I learned yeah. some things today. You said some things I don't like. Uh, that's your right to say it. You said it. People heard it. They must yeah, decide for yeah. themselves. That's why we engaged yeah. in so many different conversations because. People will listen to you and say, oh, this guy is smart. This guy knows this. This guy knows, oh, this guy's a dumbass. It's a stupid answer. I don't yeah. like that answer. That's <laughs> how, when you take, yeah. I learned that thing from um, a radio station. Well, you taught, me, you taught me something new, which uh, I, 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 you know, because we always appear in courts and because, uh, like, you know, they, they you always got to uh, dot your I's, cross your T's. So the issue, I, I mean, I'm not uh, uh, denying, it could be for uh, well, you, I'll, I'll take your word for it that you can start up an, an entity. And obviously, I mean, we'll support anything that happened in, in Phoenix. And uh, I forgot to mention to you was that the CRL is coming back and we were represented in that CRL. Phoenix was represented in that CRL by Ashwin Trikrimji. And I don't understand why this happened. We had to call the CRL back. So therefore, um, 
I was pleading so even being, on I'm, the. I'm on a, yeah. I'm on some I'm on some WhatsApp group of the CRL and there's a meeting going to be coming yeah. up or whatever. So I'll be yeah. asked to yeah. talk or whatever. So yeah. Please please do uh, please do. Before before we end and the orange let's yeah. end with the orange overalls and the orange uh, issues. <laughs> yeah. You also made a comment about Imtiaz say it because saying that he just came now and whatever uh, on the platform. I've never heard of him. I've never heard of him. Yeah. I've never heard of him. Serious. I haven't. I've not. But if he's doing a good job, I know. In fact, you know, when we are looking for a political home, we always thought, you know, civic is the way, and that is why we're a civic, uh, civic political party. And I mean, uh, <coughs> bread and butter issues. And uh, it's like, you know, I, I, I looked at his thing, and then uh, it, you know, sometimes you lured to join political parties, and you know, because you've got that heart, you want to make sure that you know you're doing the right thing, and then. Uh, you know, when you when there's no elective conference, when there's no. I think. Uh, you know, I think. Uh, I think. I think after this election, you, I think after this election, uh, now this, it costs you. Wait, wait, wait! It costs you. <laughs> it costs you five hundred rand to start a political party. Five hundred rand. Five hundred rand per. And then obviously. I thought it was two thousand. Five hundred. two thousand. No, it's five hundred bucks in the municipality if you're contesting in the municipality, but if it's national and and and. Uh, Provincially, it goes it goes higher. It goes higher. Yeah. I think you must. Uh, so, you must, you must have, I think you must have. A, you must have a one-on-one -on -one chat with MTR. Say it. Maybe uh, have have a, have a conversation. No, maybe him. he needs to join forum. Maybe he needs to join forum. I think, but after this election, into next election, you might join the ACC. You think so? <laughs> it's a tall order. Think, eh? Well, a, uh, quite. A, you quite. Quite. quite a, towards ACC. You know, you know <laughs> no, no, I'll tell you why. Not that I'm leading yeah. towards it. I'll tell you why. Yeah. I try to listen to people and have conversations. Like I've had a yeah. conversation with Chamin Taku Rajbansi. I had a conversation yeah. with Usman Reddy. I had a long conversation, deep conversation. I never met Imtiaz Said for the first time I met him and then I had a conversation with him. You see, people have, and that's what people are asking for. People are asking, why can't Mervyn, Karo Charo, Imtiaz Said, Usman Reddy, all we got brains. Why are we all fighting each other? But you know, that's a utopian world where everyone come together. But ideally, too many chiefs, too little Indians. Hundred percent. So you know, I agree too with you. This chiefs. doesn't work that way. But uh, no man, look, because Norman, of, thank you. you see, yeah, political yeah. ideology. We may differ in political ideology, but we may agree on things. I mean, the Phoenix Justice, you know, the Phoenix, uh, the the Phoenix projects that you are doing, uh, the Phoenix Justice project. So. It's like we can disagree on, but we can unite and join. And I think that uh, I don't think the ANC is going to win. So there's going to be a lot of coalitions in in the city. So, and who knows? Maybe so anyway, we might enter into David, a coalition. Uh, final final punch for yeah. you for your forum for service yeah. delivery and why people should vote for your party and for you as a ward councillor. Floor is yours. Okay, forum for service delivery. As I said, I fell in love with the manifesto. And uh, it's just a party that's been pro poor. I come from a pro poor, a pro poor back, a poor background. You know, I've got one brother that's in the United States. He left the country, and he always said, "Come overseas." I've got a ten-year work visa, but I I choose to stay in this country, fight the injustices, and obviously ensure social justice happens in this country. And if we're not going to do it, you know, we can, we can't be spectators anymore. And we've got to ensure that every citizen makes a mark on 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 uh, November 1st because we've seen the issue of the unrest. People have to come out. We have to have a voice. And we cannot be voting the same people over and over in power, the career politicians. We cannot be voting them. We need new changes. If 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 the constituency rules in, in the favor of Keshni Sola in my ward, I must be able to accept it and accept that she will lead the, the community. So... And uh, th th that's, that is how it is. So, yeah, going forward, I suggest that people align themselves with proper po uh, politicians and uh, political parties and also leaders, tried and tested leaders, not leaders that just pop out a couple of weeks before elections and then just want to lose the, the voting election. Thank you, Casey. But, uh, just, just, but just on a, that's just contradictory to me there as well. You say, what? you know, you say, People must put their faith. You spoke about career yeah. politicians, and then yeah. you said put their faith in tried and tested leaders. Now, that's yeah. where the problem is. Now we have to take a chance with unknowns because the tried and tested and the career politicians are the ones letting us down. So how do we go? No, 
Who's the title? I mean, you know, you know. Okay, looking at a good candidate, I would say a candidate that got at least a bit of tertiary education, not necessarily tertiary, that understands the Municipal Finance Management Act, that understands the bylaws of the city, that understands the uh, the uh, uh, the public finance management act the supply chain so you know you know if if, uh, if 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 for example a stadium that's been built you can't come after the stadium has been built and then you start to complain now the official opposition has got the power there and then to stop that if there's malfeasance and corruption they have a, they have the power to go to court stop this stadium from big let's look at the bill of quantity if you're telling me you're putting 10 nails for example that's SAB is approved and you're getting them some store down the line to to probably you know uh, cut corners it starts there casey it starts there it starts with ensuring and you well you i know, think you i think you i think you hit the right, i think you're ending on the right point there feces let's end with the feces everything <laughs> now feces or what feces anyway yeah. i look we've been uh, long enough <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you for joining thank us. You. We had a nice long discussion and a very uh, vibrant discussion. We had our ups and downs, we had our disagreements, but I'm sure we got it. And I'm sure we will chat again in the future. And yes, all the best to you and Forum for Service Delivery. Hope it goes well. And uh, thank you for joining me. Yes, thank you, bro. Thank you, man. And it's, it's yes. out to uh, Mervyn Govinder, who's joined us from uh, Forum for Service Delivery. Thank you so much, Ian, for joining us. Uh, let me win an uh, hour and a half almost uh, on the feed today. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned a bit. We learn as we go a bit here and there. And uh, Rosebud said, Love this case. Yeah, I loved it as well. Quite entertaining it was. Uh, you make up your own mind uh, what's happening. Until later on tonight, uh, 8 o'clock, where we have Naren Ganesh on the line and another lecture session. Until then, keep it mild. The name is Casey Caro. I'm out.